So, first thing we'll need to do is get our dependencies installed. And there they are. So cat X automation and XDO tool. This is all in the documentation by the way. You can just copy and paste that line right there and you're good to go. Um, then we're going to set the way that VLC manipulates uh, or is manipulated by the system. And we go to main interfaces. The first thing to check is that your remote control interface is enabled and that your old RC is entered. And then you're going to go drop that menu down, click RC, click fake TTY, and enter in home u vlc trans uh, slash vlc dot sock. And then the next thing to do uh, is to create the directory. So you would say make their um, VLC transy. Uh, mine's already there, so I'm not going to bother. <coughs> and then you're going to open a terminal in the same folder as your downloaded file. And you're going to copy it over to, well, first you should make sure that it's executable. So, chmod 700 vlc trans c dot pi. And of course, you know, I had no issues with that. Um, you know, if you're, I don't know, it's different people have it set different ways. So now you're going to want to copy your VLC trans file py to your home directory slash VLC trans and that's again make sure you have this directory created and yeah just like that now that's been moved over there right okay that's done now you're gonna open up your keyboard settings in Ubuntu it'll be very similar uh, I go over that in the documentation and as you can see here I already have a couple set so I'm using the super key which is you know the windows key and the space key for my pause and play and just control alt left for my uh, jumping back and that's all I actually use when I'm transcribing I don't need a lot of other uh, functionality but you do have a number of other options, so let's go over those. So if you want to go forward in the text, or in the, sorry, in the uh, audio, then you would make the same thing you see here. You would say add shortcut, and then you would say home slash user slash vlc transi slash vlc trans dot pi jog forward and then it's going to say define that and for the sake of argument I'll just say control you know control shift control and alt and shift left and now just to give you just to show you how it works we're going to, and that was already set. Now you may need to restart your VLC. In fact, if that was the first time you set that, then you are going to need to reset it. So then I will open just a recent file, say, this is Dr. and Parker, it's yeah, playing, yeah. right? I don't have now, hard numbers on an email. Or now you see that? Jumps back. And then to pause, I'll just say super. And then I can, because I set it, I can also go forward with the command that I set. And this also works, just so you see. This will also work if I'm in another program. So let's say play and typing and oh wait pause just like you need it to be uh, just like other operating systems have but without much extra software 
So I hope that uh, solves your riddle. I know it's difficult to find you know quality business software on Linux, and I'm happy to have helped you. Thank you. On your way out, turn the lights out. Take your supermodels and your broken beer bottles. I don't care. Party anywhere. I'm broke, man. Possibly beyond repair. This is the best. This is the best. My head is such a fucking mess. This is the best.